Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ebolua. So this past week, my brother was in Canada. It was a lot of fun. We had fun and we went to a lot of places. The few places I was able to vlog, I'm going to show you. So this vlog, you're going to see where we went to the Eaton Center. We also went to the 360 restaurant at the CN Tower. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys very soon. I'm on your planet, Oh my god, we vlogging today. <laughs> oh, I love this beautiful girl in my house. <laughs> she she's shy. I am so uh, <laughs> and for the first time in my life I have a driver. <laughs> Feels good to have a driver. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the right side. There's a car. Boy, it's not, it's, it's close to you. It's in your blind spot. <laughs> okay. Now. Good. This is so nice. <laughs> you don't even need to look. To I'm look. telling you. No, you do need to look, but still, like. I think it helps your looking, right? You don't have to look over me. Downtown, here we come. So we got to downtown around the afternoon and uh, it wasn't so busy. We wanted to go to the Ellie's Gardens first. It's one nice gardens like that. But um, unfortunately, due to circumstances <laughs> beyond our control, we could not get there. Because we had to park, and then after parking, we had to like pay for parking, obviously, in the downtown area. But, ladies and gentlemen, I've never really paid for parking. I've paid for parking, but not in downtown. So, I didn't know I was supposed to use my credit card. So, I was battling with the debit card in my hand. And 100 million years later on, we were able to park, and then we had... Uh, over to the downtown eating center. We could not go to Ellis Gardens because they would have already closed. I think it was around 4 p.m. So we couldn't go. So here we are at the eating center. If you've watched my first vlog, you know that I've been here as well a couple of times. But still, that does not mean I will not miss my way coming here. If you're also visiting this place, most likely you'll miss your way. So no one should judge me. So we come here, got to a lot of nice places. We went to, um, yes, here, my brothers and uh, my brother and Gracia, they were given this beer. And obviously me, I did not collect though. I didn't collect beer, but at the end of the day, I found that it's a non-alcoholic beer. So I guess it's a new product. They are just trying to give it to people to try on. But me as Jesus gave, I don't want to have anything to do with beer. So this waterfall is so pretty and I was just goofing around here. <laughs> oh my god, this Are is you so comedian <laughs> you, you pass for a comedian. You pass for a comedian, like you pass for a comedian. Like you what? You pass for a comedian, not me. For real, yeah. Afterwards, we went into some other stores, and this cap, in all honesty, looked like Akete. If you ever lived in the village in Nigeria, you know what Akete is. I went to a primary school, so a, not just a primary school, a public primary school in a village. So, <laughs> during the summer, the sun is really high. We always get a cap like this. It's usually made by the northerners, so this cap really reminded me of those Akete, okay. whatever. So... We also went to the food court. This bon bon grill or whatever their name is, I think this is like the favorite place where I always eat in this food court. And even in other malls as well. I think I'm used to their food. So we got three plate of food. Normal, you know, combo rice, veggies, and some um, proteins as well. So we got our food. But one thing that I've never noticed was the fact that we always pay seven dollars extra for eating here seriously i never noticed so next time if you're eating in a food court have it at the back of your mind that you're gonna pay seven dollars extra for using their plates 
but if you use a takeout, you will not be paying. That's a tip. So my brother said he was going to buy me something, so I brought him to this um, store. I can't remember the name of this store, but I know that we came to this store. I think it was Hudson's Bay, I believe. So getting here, I was picking some shoes, and obviously the guy did not buy anything for me. Because I was picking like 1,000, 2,000 shoes. Day two, we went to this beautiful place. Somebody should guess. So this Femi beside me, Femi is our distant cousin. So he came to take all of us out to the 360 restaurant at the um, um um I'll show you when I get there. <laughs> okay, so we saw the thirties on the way. Uh, this is our day. Gracia, myself, this is me always goofing around, always. So you guys can see we went to the CN Tower. We went around the afternoon. We made a reservation with the 360 restaurant to get there around 4.30. But we got there like 3.45 and we were not allowed to go into the um, tower itself. So we just stayed downstairs going to, there's like a small store downstairs where you can buy things if you want to buy was we didn't buy anything anyways we're just uh using that to pass the time um last name o l u w o l e do you want to leave your jacket or you're good yeah that's why i was i was under like so at exactly 4 30 we were asked to go in to register so we got to this table and um yeah as the chief tour guide is it that the cheaper guide they didn't pay me all, but still you know so on to the 360 restaurant guys i can't wait for you to see this so the first point we got to we were asked to stay to take a picture and the picture was really nice i'm gonna insert it here so after taking the picture we're here for the elevator to take us to the Tracy's restaurant. So I have my family people with me. So this is, what's your name? <laughs> guys, don't mind Femi. His name is Femi. I hope I'm not boring you guys. So now we started the ride. The ride was quite interesting, a little scary if you are the fearful type. So we're given some info about the tower by the guide, you know, his supposed guide. He gave us some stories when it was uh, established, how many feet it is. If you want to know, go to my description box. So getting to the main 360 restaurant itself, it is a revolving restaurant that revolves while you eat. Isn't that scary? Yes, it, it is. But it doesn't revolve really fast. It goes really slowly that you might not notice that it is actually moving. And then here, guys. <laughs> I spent like 1,000 years trying to decide on the menu. <laughs> this was decided upon. This was um, my appetizer. So I can't remember the name, seriously. But this was my appetizer. That was famous. I did get, I did got the same thing. Grass, I didn't get any appetizer because we shared mine. And we also went for... Um, a dessert so it was a two meal course so i got appetizer and the main meal so she is gonna get the main meal and the dessert so we share it. these guys they cannot do that you know guys if you are still watching my you love to see more please hit the subscribe button while we eat tell me if you eat the button so that i can give you part of this meal the bread was quite nice, although I only had one because obviously your girl does not eat much. This guy is eating and he's eating and he's afraid. So one thing I was actually saying at this table was the fact that we were all fighting with pictures, like trying to take pictures, trying to make videos. I said like 
in the olden days like oh back God. then when food is brought to the table everyone eats not like this instagram days where <laughs> before you eat you gotta take a picture for the gram god so lunch was absolutely beautiful very nice very delicious i can't wait to go back to that sister restaurant for this lunch so i'm available if you want to carry me there <laughs> anyway so we all had the same lunch it's um a combination of salmon and some wild brown rice which was really nice so afterwards i also add some peppermint tea and um ade and femi add coffee and this is our view while we eat so beautiful absolutely stunning so on our way downstairs we saw the um, glass wall or what should i call it it's a glass wall so while standing on it you see the <laughs> you see the dance floor it's good it's to me it's just like an illusion it's like you're standing on the glass which you know in your mind you might think might break but obviously not so that's our tour for today we are heading back home it was a beautiful experience at the three sister restaurant and saint tower there's also an aquarium by the uh 360 restaurant i mean by the saint tower so if you want to go you can also plan to go to the aquarium it's very beautiful we didn't get there anyways because we didn't plan for that see you guys in our next vlog goodbye subscribe and like thank you